Hey, what's up? David Cohen here for Learn Now FX. Welcome back to another exciting Fusion tutorial. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our brand new plugin Lensmaster Flares for DaVinci Resolve Fusion. So let's check it out. Lensmaster Flares is a dynamic lens flare creation plugin for DaVinci Resolve Fusion, which allows you to procedurally create resolution independent flares without even leaving Fusion. Complete with GPU acceleration and a powerful user interface, Lensmaster Flares is designed to keep your workflow blazing fast. So let's jump right in and see all of these features in action. I'm going to clear all of these nodes here and I want to start from scratch. So first you need to select the node that you're going to add the effect to. It can either be a background node or a footage node. And I'm going to search for LM, which is the shortcut for Lens Master Flares. And as we can see, after adding the node, that no flare has appeared yet because we need to select our preset. So I'm going to click this Browse Preset button and that will open our preset browser. And Lens Master Flares comes with over 40 high quality presets to choose from. And I'm just going to choose this one. So I'm going to close this preset browser and send this preset to the viewer. So each preset has its own center, angle, size, and pivot controls. And you can even create a duplicate of this. So I'm just going to copy and paste. And now we have two of the same flare. So if I put this one to the side here, it's already starting to look like headlights. And you would be able to track footage of a car's headlights and connect the center of the flare to the headlights. So you can add this to your footage. So Lensmaster Flares is based off of 14 different core elements. And you can view all of them by clicking this Open Preset Builder button. These are our 14 core elements. We have Glow, we have Multi Iris, among others. We have a lot of different elements here, and each preset is built using these elements. You can add certain elements to a preset, like if I just get rid of this, and I can add, let's say, a hoop to this flare. So if I just select it, add a hoop, maybe change it to something like anamorphic, change the aspect. I want to bring down the rays, bring down the gain maybe bring down the gamma as well. I can change the colors, bring it to blue, make it like an entirely blue hoop. So I have three colors to choose from. And I can bring down the gain even more actually, just to make like a very subtle effect. So whenever I move this flare, the hoop will move together with it. You can add elements to existing flares or you can build your own custom presets. Building custom presets is actually very easy. That's what we have our preset builder for. We can create our own preset by adding a couple of elements to a Lens Master Flares node. And I'm just going to select a glow and a multi iris. And I'm just going to maybe bring down the size of these elements, bring down the opacity, bring down the brightness, maybe bring down the size even more. And we can change the color even something like this. And one more thing I can add is like a hoop. Also bring down the number of rays, bring down the gain. And this is a very simple looking preset. So we have our, so you can save this preset and look at it in our custom preset browser. Now this custom preset browser is currently empty because I haven't saved any of my own custom presets yet. But whenever but when you get this, you'll be able to save your own custom presets. And I have a video about that on my channel. And you'll also 
have I also have a video about how to use each of these elements and how to put them together, all of the settings, all some cool tricks that you add to them. And I have an example on how to build your own preset. So I'm just going to close this and show you another setting, another cool feature that we have in Les Master Flares. So we have another feature called occlusion. So if you want to occlude your flare with something like a text or a mask or anything like that, you can do that with the occlusion feature. So I'm just going to type something like flares and I'm going to change the font and send it to the viewer. If I make this text a little larger, I can use this as my occlusion layer. So I'm going to pipe the output of this text into the occlusion input of Lens Master Flares. So if I view Lens Master Flares and select Use Occlusion Layer, I want to view the occlusion layer. So by default, it is set to inverted luma, and that is the most common use you have, but you also have options as alpha, inverted alpha, luma, and inverted luma. So as you can see, the areas that are black, the flare will disappear, and areas that are white, the flare will be visible. So this occlusion mat doesn't have any gray values, only black and white, and I'll explain why that's important in just a second. So if I go here to this hoop, and I need to turn off view occlusion layer first, and I'm just going to merge this text on top of our flare so we can see what's going on. Whenever I bring the flare under this text, the flare will disappear. And that is called occlusion. But this is very sharp. It basically only turns the flare on and off. But I want it to gradually become smaller and larger as it gets closer and further from the text. So what you can do is add a dilate node. And I'm going to place it between the output of the occlusion layer and the occlusion input of Lens Master Flares. So I'm going to change the filter to linear and I want to bring up the amount. Now, if I move this flare to the text, you'll see that it gradually becomes smaller and fades out. And it gradually gets larger once it gets further away from the text. Now, I'm going to get rid of this occlusion and turn off Use Occlusion Layer. And I'm going to show you one more feature. We have another feature called Triggering in Lens Master Flares. So each element has its own individual triggering. So what it means is that we can make objects disappear or appear or become larger or change color even when they get to certain parts of the frame. So I'm going to go to the Glow. And I am going to go down to the triggering and enable the triggering, set it from border and fall off type. I prefer exponential, but a lot of people will argue and say that smooth is better. And if I want to preview the trigger to see what it looks like, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to switch the brightness mode from multiply by to add to. So what do I get? When I move the flare towards the edge, it will become larger, but only the element that has triggering enabled. And once it gets closer to the middle of the frame, it will become its default size. One other cool thing I can do is I can actually turn off triggering for the brightness, and I want to enable triggering from the center exponential, and I want to enable the color shift. So whenever it gets close to the center, it will become orange, or maybe something like this, this kind of color. So from the edge, it's blue. And when it gets to the center, it will change color. Now, if you want to see that trigger, what it looks like, you can just select the preview trigger. And we'll see that when it gets to this area, it will become orange. You can even change the color, make it become green, make it become any other color that you want. So we can trigger the brightness, we can trigger the color shift, and some elements we can trigger the size. And this is just one of the many features that Lens Master Flares have. So I'm just going to go to the glow and turn off preview trigger. And one more thing you can do is that all of the elements have these on-screen widgets which allow you to control the size and the angle and stuff like that. 
So I have this nifty button here that lets you turn them off. I prefer to have them off, but I know a lot of people that prefer to work with them. But personally, I don't like having them on. So I just left this option to turn them off when I'm working with the flares. I mean, it's good for everything else, but when working with the flares, I find it a little distracting. I hope you guys like this demonstration. Lensmaster Flares is available now on our website. I'll put the link in the description below. Until next time, I'm David Cohen, and this is Learn Now Effects.